For me, trades, I really was just, again, doing nothing. Again, I'm looking at like my trades in my two skill, like GD, you know, that was like a half a percent loss, names almost, you know, 20, you know, 25%, 25 points lower than where we got out. OKE, yep. you know, we did a great job of that one two weeks ago. Like, you know, we were getting out 73, 74, the stock's whew, 10 bucks lower now. Like, and, and that's just like, that's, I think that was one of those really good examples that we, I think we noticed very quickly with energy where it looks so perfect. Yeah. And the more perfect I think a name or a sector is gonna look, usually the that's like red the flags. end. The end. And that's yeah, even yeah. like for, even like with the 10 year right now, you know, the 10 year is ripping and it's like that same, it reminds me just the, the chart, not the, you know, the 10 year rates, and all, just the chart of how this so dramatic root move yeah. it's had reminds me just like VDE where it had this dramatic move. It looks so perfect. Like end of April, we got that last little kind of push where we all were getting pretty heavy in energy and then we all were quickly getting out of it. We're like TNX, like this is that last kind of little push and maybe this is kind of factoring a lot of the, the rates rising and everything that they're kind of anticipating this, that right. maybe going into Wednesday, everything is status quo, everyone. There's no surprise. And then maybe the tenure does start to fade. The market catches it, catches it, you know, so bids and maybe we're, we push back up into the range. But that's, you know, my big thing for the, you know, good and trade, bad trade has just been looking at my most recent trades and the fact that I got out of those and got into cash um, and just doing nothing. It's like, yeah, I'm not frustrated with the market.